All right, gentlemen, we went over the nutrition in the dressing room. I expect a clean fight. Let's shake hands and back to the corners. Do not go get a drink. Do not go to the bathroom because Richard Torres Jr. has four first round knockouts. Terrell Herndon, well, he's on a three fight knockout streak, part of a longer nine fight win streak, six of those by knockout. So there's a lot of power inside the ring right now with Torres and Herndon. The right hand of Herndon has the power. And that's the punch that gives the Southpaw most of the trouble. And already, as you see, Torres gets off to a fast start. He got clipped right there on the way in, trying, yep. to, trying to get inside. But that's what makes Torres different. He fights at a high pace, high intensity pace, and he hits hard with those punches. F.A. Jock was a name we've been hearing a lot tonight. The two fighters before both had been able to beat F.A. Jogba. Tyro Herndon lost to F.A. Jogba July 2017 by knockout. F.A. Jogba will be our main event against Joe Goodall on November 4th in Lake Tahoe. So don't miss that fight. Yeah, you cannot relax when you're in the ring with Torres Jr. I mean, if he has one hand free, he's using it. He won't let you relax. That's the thing. Herndon is sitting in that corner trying to tie. He actually grabbed one arm or one hand. And Torres got busy with the opposite hand. That's that left hand that works so well for him and he just barely caught part of the glove of Herndon there. You see a little bit of irritation under the right eye of Richard Torres Jr. You said you wanted him to see in against the guy who punches back. Herndon can be that guy. Will he be that guy? Yeah, Herndon's right now sitting back trying to weather the storm right now. Trying to buy his time, not, trying not to get knocked out in the first round. <laughs> nice angles right there from Torres. Torres, let's watch you. Don't turn around. Let's go. See, Torres is able to get to, to Herndon a lot more often is because Torres... <laughs> told you. It don't matter what position you're in. Torres is going to hit you. Just look at the lead hand jousting. You know, that acts as, that acts as a range finder. You see him right here? Mm -hmm. Level changes, you get your opponent looking at it, you see the feints to add with that. And it also can be provide punch traffic. And what that means is, is that it can be a shield for you. Woo! Good shot. It can be a shield for you, so you can use that to deflect punches coming your way. But how he's able to get inside is with that. That joust right there. Trying to set up a shot as Herndon was bouncing off the ropes. Torres has heavy hands, but so far Herndon has been able to take his shots here in Rosenberg. Richard Torres is known as a gentleman boxer for his genuine and humble personality outside of the ring, but inside the ring, as you're seeing now, he turns into something completely different. When I land a clean shot, once I feel that impact, and I understand that he's hurt, oh, I, I'm, I'm going in for the kill. Big shot! Torres floors him in the final seconds of round one! Oh my god! Wow! Boxing is a part of me. Like, I never got into boxing. I never really stayed into boxing. It's kind of like asking what I like most about my right hand. It's, it's me, you know? It, it is who I am. This, this matter of time. Look at that. Go to sleep. Sends him back with a three-punch combination. Oh, my goodness. He'll tell you sometimes, and he made his comment. He goes, I never knew if I was that guy. I said, what do you think now? He goes, I'm that guy. Yeah, he's that guy that stopped Marco Antonio Cañedo. The first knockout you saw there in 44 seconds. Roberto Zavala in 58 seconds. And... He's only fought coming into this fight 18 minutes and 59 seconds in six fights. Now he's at 21, 59 plus. You saw him land 15 total punches there in the first round. Nice body work from Torres. He's hurting and tried to land to the head. See, the thing with Torres is he's a, he's a small, considered a small heavyweight. 
in this, this generation. So he has to get close. You know, he has to maul these guys. Yep. And that's what makes him different. He has, he throws, he's very entertaining because he throws a lot of shots. He don't shy away from the action. He's yeah. aggressive, but undersized, but he's high tempo as we saw by the 15 landed punches there. Nice one, two from Torres and down goes Herndon. Up at nine. A minute and 55 seconds left. What will Torres Jr. do here? We want to see more from him, but his MO is, I don't get paid for overtime. I get paid to put guys on the canvas. And that's what he's trying to do to Herndon here in the second round. The fight's all done. Yep, once you turn your back, as Tyron Herndon did, the referee's gonna step in, and Richard Torres Gets the stoppage win by technical knockout in the second round. Maybe not as spectacular as we would have liked in terms of a finish, Tim. But in the end, the first knockdown was pretty clean. Pretty clean knockdown. You know, Herndon he came here. He felt that he didn't want anything to do with it. I mean, easy fight. I mean, I, I could pick this fight with my eyes closed. As soon as I read the name, I knew what was going to happen. I knew exactly what was going to happen. Um, but good performance, let's put it this way, good performance right here by Torres. Torres did exactly what he was supposed to do tonight. That's exactly it. Guido did not do what he was supposed to do. And this man, I promise you, well, he'll be a little bit better. Well, well, let's put Harper in the ring with this guy. Okay. I like that because Harper will make him work. Let's take a look at what worked for Richard Torres with the first knockdown, Tim. Straight left hand. But see, what, I, what I'm looking at, I'm looking at the head placement, you know, he got off the line with his head to land that straight left hand. And here's the second knockdown, I believe. Straight left hand one. right there. Boom, beautiful shot. Just He just mauls you. Yeah. I mean, he throws so many punches. You have to worry about so much. Then step around right there, just getting around, swinging his arm around him, laying him, and just catching him with angles right there. I mean, the referee saw the posture, the posture of Hondon. He don't want to fight. Look, I mean... Got him in a bad position. You see the disappointment in the face of Richard Torres Jr. because he wanted to finish. Oh, he wanted that killer knockout. He wanted that highlight reel. He wanted to add to what he's been doing. And, you know, right now, Richard Torres, he needs to enjoy this. Yeah. Because, trust me, things are going to heat up for him real soon. You know, top rank, best match in the business. They understand that they need this guy to have more rounds. They got to see how his condition is, is late. They got to see him take a shot. And that's going to be coming real soon. So enjoy this. It's great. Seven and those, seven knockouts. Fantastic. This is stage one of his career as a pro after a stellar amateur career. A good performance yeah. from Richard Torres. He did what he's supposed he to do. He wants more. Yeah. And that's, the, that's, and the, and that's the thing. That's the thing with him. Like, speaking with him in the fighter meetings, most guys are like, ah, leave him in their hands. Like, he's like, I'm ready to step up whenever, Tim. Yep. You know, whenever. I, I want to fight. I want to fight all these guys. Every last one of them. You know, at the right time, though, Tim. So, we'll see next time out. We'll see next time out who he faced. But I, I'm going to tell him right now. Put him in there with Harper. So that way he can show Guido what you're supposed to do with a guy like Harper. Ooh. All right. So, Richard Torres steps up to the plate. Hits it out of the park. Another man who always hits it out of the park. Mark Chinook, who won this fight and how much did it last? Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the Fort Bend Epicenter, referee Alejandro Leon calls a stop to this bout at 1 minute 26 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by technical knockout, Richard Kiki Torres Jr. We already knew who won the fight. You, the fans, won the fight because... It lasted four minutes and 26 seconds total. Almost one and a half minutes into round two. Richard Torres Jr. gets his seventh victory. No man has been able to get past the third round in his young career. And the Olympic silver medalist continues.